number two of our marathon second weekend of iOS programming. Today we're going to start out with an example. It may or may not work. We'll just kind of see how it works. But I'm kind of curious to see if it does work. Uh, because the UI changed with the new iOS 7. I haven't tried this one yet. We'll see what happens. It's an older tutorial. We could just make an older project type, I guess. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll play around with it. And uh, the tutorial I'm going to start out with, uh, which is the one I'm not really quite sure about, is in the source code examples folder, and this one's called uh, table. Nope, nope, nope. This one's called toolbars. Toolbars class tutorial. And then we're going to go into this one underneath it, introspection tutorial. So these are the two I'm going to cover first. And this one I know works because I did it in the other section. This one I didn't try it in the other section, so we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, but uh, in case I can show you the toolbars. So what we're looking at is designing a UI toolbar. And so iPad iOS development works with navigation. So we have the UI navigation controller and it maintains a UI toolbar for each one of the view controllers in its stack. And the toolbar is normally hidden but uh, we can place buttons on it and display it anytime we want actually. Uh, so we can open up a new single view application. So let's go ahead and build something that uses a toolbar. So I'm going to open up uh, an Xcode, create a new application and I'm going to create a single view application to make sure I'm up here in the iOS section. So I got the right section here. Single view application. Go ahead and click on next. I'm going to call this one um, my toolbars. I'll make it for the iPhone. And I'll press next. And then I'll go create. So then on my storyboard here. Hello. This was uh, the, no, 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 the tutorial was made for the XIB files on an old version uh, before they actually had this down here. So if I do this, I can go here toolbar. I see I have a toolbar in here. I can drag and drop and put it over. What we're going to do is add the code programmatically and see what happens with this. We can change the color of the toolbar. We can hide and show it and use all the properties on it. So. So we started out, we opened it up, but don't select the user storyboard. Well, that's different than this tutorial. We don't have an option anymore. Add a new class. So we're going to create a new class to control the toolbar. So we're going to select the Objective-C class template, and then we're going to have um, the name of the class, main view. Well, we don't have to do main view controller. We already have that one then. Make sure that the class is a subclass of UI view controller. And also create an XIB for the following controller view. Let's take a look here. Do we want to do this? Oh, let's just do it. Um, so we can kind of see what this looks like. Oh, that's why I want. Okay, so um, we don't necessarily have to do this because we have the view controller, but let's go create another view controller. Um, so it's kind of like a little experiment to see if this is going to work anyway. We're just going to be called main view controller. So we're going to create another view controller that's going to control our toolbars. So, and then I'll show you how to switch the app delegate to another view controller to start the program off with. So this one is the one that goes after the lifecycle app that we did, but we did lifecycle app like in the first weekend, I believe. So this is an older tutorial, kind of earlier on, but the learning objective here is to see how the app delegate loads on uh, view controllers. So we're going to go file, new file, and this time we're going to create a uh, Objective C class up here, and we're going to go next. And then, if we change this down here on the bottom to UI View Controller, then we have the buttons down here. It says with XIB for user interface. And I'm going to click on this just so you know what it is I'm talking about. And this one we're going to call Main, M A I N, Main View Controller. And the main view controller is going to be created with an XIB for the user interface. So, going back to what I was saying yesterday about model view controller. App delegates the model. The view controller is this class file, and the view is that XIB file. So we're basically adding another set of classes to our configuration here. So now you notice I have an XIB file. So you see, I have an XIB file on here instead of this main storyboard, which is actually kind of interesting. My original app runs with this storyboard. The storyboard allows me to connect, and I'm going to deviate from the tutorial a little bit just to show you a few concepts, but it allows me to connect views with more views with more views with more views, kind of like a storyboard. 
think about the concept from a digital arts perspective. It's um, laying out a sequence of screens. As an example, let me show you something real quick here. Uh, we have, uh, we can do this with views, but let's just take a view controller and stick it out here. I stick a view controller out here. Now I have two view controllers. And then from the storyboard, I can go from this view controller to this view controller if I wanted to. Um, simply by, and let me show you something really cool actually, because a lot of people don't know that they can do this. Um, so I'm going to put a button out here, and I'm going to totally deviate from the tutorial that I was working on. But And this button here is going to go next. I'll put a little label, a button over here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to go previous. And then let me put a label out here. And this one's going to be uh, first screen. And then this label over here is going to be second screen. And then I'll change the background color of this one a green. I'm going to make this one pink or something. I'll go pink on this one. So I got a green pink, I got a green screen, and a pink screen. And I go, well, you know, I don't really know if I like the colors of that. So I'm going to go ahead and change the foreground colors here to white on my text and make my text bigger. All right, now I can really see it. Looks pretty good. I can make this only this one black. Make this a little bit bigger. So I have these two beautiful screens that I'm going to work with, and I got these buttons here. I could put an arrow, add an image to the button, put an arrow on it, back, forward, back, forward. And then I'm not going to use the view controller for this. In fact, I'm just going to use what's called sequences or sequences to go from one screen to another. So if I right mouse click over here on my button. And uh, I see I've got all these options here. And remember yesterday we wired them to the view controller? I don't necessarily have to do that. Instead, I could just click on the button, press down the control button, drag it over to the screen, and see how the screen gets highlighted with this little blue kind of thing? And let go. And then we're going to do a model, modal on this because we're going to put the we're going to put the new view in the place of the old view. So it's going to be connected. Let me make this a little bit bigger. This is a total deviation from the tutorial, by the way. <laughs> so, but don't worry, we'll go back to the tutorial. I figured while I'm here, I was going to remember to show you this. So this button will take us to this button. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to press on this button, press down the control button, and go back here so I have the screen one here highlighted, like go. And I'm going to do a modal here. So I can see I've got these two little wraparound kind of connector things, and if I move the screens around, I can sort of see how they're connecting the screens. Well, that's fine and dandy, um, except for now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, well, I'm going to change the behavior. So if I click on the sequins, I get the storyboard sequins up here. I can give them a name and I can programmatically have them work. And I can also change the style. An example here, I'm going to leave it on modal. But for the transition, I'm going to do a flip, flip a uh, horizontal. And then uh, on the other one, I'm going to do a flip vertical. So if I can click on the other one, here we go. I'm going to flip it vertically. Flip it, go oh, cover vertical. Let's go cover, oh, let's go partial curl. Now nah, let's go cover vertical. So if I run it, even though I added another main view controller to my project, uh, my app delegate is still working with my storyboard. I haven't done that part yet. So if I run it right now, I just want to show you what this is going to do, actually. So here's I'm on my first screen, right? So I can go next. Now I have my second screen. I can go previous. See how that flipped? Kind of nice, sophisticated looking app, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Not too bad, right? <laughs> All right? You know, for a two-second navigation. Let me show you something else. Something else you're really going to like. Uh, so I'm going to close this app, but I'm going to open it back up in a few minutes. Because I want to show you something else. Uh, so if I go back up to Xcode, I'm going to start a brand new project again. If you keep selecting a single view application, well, the single view application is the single view. <laughs> so it's that one little view we added. We now made that a double view application, but it essentially is a single view. Oh, here we have this tabbed application. It's got a tab controller with multiple views. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to pick this one here. 
And I'm going to call this one tab, tab application. And I'll show you what this one looks like. I'm going to create it for the iPhone, and uh, we're looking pretty good with this. And put it on the desktop. And now I have the same concept as before, but I already have now two views and two view controllers. So here we have, I have a first view controller, a second view controller. Oops, here, first view controller, second view controller set. And then I have a single storyboard. And the single storyboard looks like this, where I have this tab, tab bar controller. And inside of the tab bar controller, I've got two views, view one and view two. First view and second view. If I run the software, it looks like this. Actually, this is already made for me, so I don't have to drag any arrows. I'm, this is the automatic way of doing it with the tab, the tab controller. Where do we get the tabs from? Well, the tabs are on the bottom, so we have the second view, the first view. Both views reside inside of the main controller. So we have one first view, second view, first view, second view. Not a bad concept. Um, and then we can take the concept and, uh, you know, pretty much extend on it. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. Here, let me add this in here. Make this a little bit smaller. No, actually, we'll just leave it here. Yeah. I'm going to stick one in there. Uh, see how it's kind of tight over here. I'm going to put this guy over here. I'm going to drag another one over here. Same thing I did in the last project. I'm going to put another view controller on here. And I'm going to connect this view controller to the tab view controller. By clicking on the view controller, by getting it blue, pressing down the control button, and then dragging it. Oops, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to drag it to this one. So I'm taking and I'm highlighting this this tab bar controller, pressing down the control button, and I'm going to do a relationship on this one. So before I was doing a modal, I could still do a modal if I want. I could put a button on there and go to the screen if I wanted to. Or I could have it on the bottom here, so it says first, second, let's just call this one third. So then if I do that, I'm going to create a view controller relationship sequence. If I do that, then look at this. I have a new one down here. It says item on the bottom. Well, that's this item here. So if I double click over here, oops, come on. Here we go. I had you a second ago. There we go. I'm going to call this one third. So now I have first, second, and third. I got to leave the third one alone, but here I'll just put a label on it so you know what you know what it looks like. This one here says third on it. Now I've been running. I'm going to see three of them instead of two of them. <laughs> so I got uh, this is the first one, second one, third one. This is what they call a multi-view application. Not too bad. It's pretty easy actually. Compared to compared to Android, it's really a piece of cake. So it's kind of fun too. You, in fact, uh, you do now actually go to the Apple Store and take a look at some of the apps there. Take a look at your phone. Just take a look at your device. How many people use it? A lot of people use this. Why? Wow, it's easy. Easy navigation. Give it to you. you know, I can put one application on here. I can have another game here. I can have another game here. I can make this smaller, bigger. I can change it around the look. Customize the look and feel. I can even do this. This is, a, you know, I can even say, well, you know, I want to put another view on there and have another view go to another view. So if I do this here, just move this guy over here a little bit, put another view controller out here. I make this one here uh, the background pink so I can tell it this way. I can put a little button on here and uh, take my button. This is go. Uh, this is going to say go to. This is going to be pink view, pink view. Take the button, control drag it this way, modal it. Let's flip it. Uh, so we'll change the behavior transition to a flip vertical because I like the flip vertical. Run the app. So the first view is good. Second view. Looks like everything's good. Third view. Oh, look, I got the little button, the pink view. I flipped it. Where's my tab view controller? No more. <laughs> so I escaped out of the tab view controller. Because I'm really, I'm really over here. This guy is not part of this guy. He's not on the bottom. He's uh, he's not part of the tab view controller. He's just a separate view on its own. Go to something else if you want to. 
So people do that for preferences, uh, for different screens. That's why I call it a storyboard. <laughs> the storyboard goes from, you know, this kind of scene to this scene to this scene to that scene. It's like the navigation story of your app and how things are working. So UI designers really like the storyboard because it allows them to really express their, their app ideas and creativity. So anyway, uh, this was just for fun, so I'm going to close it. But we see, um, I do want to show you something, though. We do see a first view controller. First view controller works with the first view controller. Second view controller, and that sounds terrible, <laughs> works with the second view controller. To be legitimate with this, we'd want to create a third view controller. If we created a third view controller and put it on our third view, and then a fourth view controller, put it on our fourth view. So to do that, we go File, New, File, uh, Objective C Class. And this time, I'm not going to make it with an XIB file because I already put it on there. Remember, I put the view on there already. I just dig drag that first, but this one I'm going to call a third view controller. And it's a UI view controller. And I'm going to put it in the same project. So now you see I have third view controller. So if I go back to my storyboard, and I look at, uh, let's go back to these view controls. Here we go, first view controller. And I look over here to, I click on first view controller, highlight it, come over here to the properties, and it says first view controller up here. And then I click on this guy over here. He's the UI tab view controller. Here's my second view controller. So I click on my second view controller. I see second view controller. And then I put my third one. Where did I put my third one? It's over here somewhere. I think it's underneath. Here it is. It's hiding underneath the pink one. This one's really my third one. So I'm going to highlight it so I can get the. There we go. And over here, I'm going to change this one to third view controller. Now I have three different view controllers for three different views. So over here, as an example, if I'm in this controller and I go and I click on the tuxedo icon, I get the third view controller. So I drag and drop and I stick my stuff from the third view controller onto the third view controller, excuse me, onto the third view, onto my third view controller. So all my views have a view controller. Even my tab, you can have a separate view controller if I wanted to have one, but it doesn't really need one. It's a, it's a, it's kind of a, a bucket of all the other ones. The tab view controllers, you don't put anything on there. Instead, you put views inside of it, and you adjust the views by the tabs. So long story short, the concept being that each one of the views has its own set of view controllers. So this pink one over here. To be following model view controller correctly, I should go ahead and add another one. So file new, file. Another one of these guys here. I'm going to call this one pink view controller. There's no law that says you have to make it first, second, third. You know? So I'm going to say OK. Save it in here. And then go back to my storyboard and do the same thing. So I come up here and say, well, this one's pink. So where's my pink? Not in there. So then I type in pink. Pink view controller. Needs to refresh. Sometimes you have to do that with images too, by the way. Because pink view controller is in here. And if I go back to the storyboard and I click on this pink view controller, I see pink view controller. Did I spell that right? Oh, I put a capital P in here. If you have it set correctly and you have the name in there correct, oh, there we go. Then uh, when you press on the little tuxedo icon, it should bring up my pink view controller. Nope, it does, but it's hidden right here. So let's bring this over here. So there's my pink view controller. So one of the benefits of lining them up is not only do you have better control over the views, but you have all of the behavior separated out for a view controller for each one of the views. And you have easy editing and easy dragging and dropping and wiring. So it's all wired separately, it all works together, and it's very easy to maintain it versus spaghetti code. Spaghetti code, yeah, you rarely see this with iOS development, it's more of a C++ thing. Spaghetti code is when you just can't tell what anything is and where anything is, it just is all messed up. <laughs> so this is, a, this is what I call a really clear, easy to follow design pattern. So, all right, I'll stop this one and go back to the tutorial. That one was just for fun. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open back up my toolbars. And for my toolbars, um, you know what? 
I'm just going to start fresh, actually. I'm going to start with another project because I added another screen to that one, and I don't want to go ahead and mess it up. So I'm just going to go here and go create a new project. It's just as easy to create a new project. Single view application, go next. And this one's going to be called tool. Tools. I'll call it tools. Well, it's really toolbars. Toolbars. There we go. And I'll save it to my desktop because then I can just throw it away later. And uh, now I'm back to my toolbar. So, and I think the tutorial wanted us to add in a main view controller. So let's go ahead and add that class. I'm going to have to go add that class back in. So file new. And it's going to be a, a uh, Objective-C class. And uh, I'm going to say main view controller. And uh, I'm going to put the XIB in there too. So I got the XIB in there. So I think this is where I got, where I went, did last time actually. So now I have this three set, so I have the XIB file. It's just going to be a regular old view kind of thing. And I have that main view controller.m. And I'm not going to use the storyboard because I decided I already played around the storyboard. I'm going to use the XIB file, so I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. All right. It doesn't really matter. A storyboard is a bunch of XIBs put together. An XIB is just a single XIB. It's just a single view. No story to it. <laughs> so <laughs> no storyboard. All right, so we created it, uh, also created an XIB file uh, for the view controllers. So let's see, we got the, that part down, we got that part down. Now, now we have to tell our app not to use the storyboard. We got to tell the app delegate to use our XIB file that we just created. So this is the key to get your app to actually load whatever it is you put in there instead of loading whatever it is it thinks it wanted from a template that you gave it. So now we're going to set the navigation controller, having the main view controller object as its root view controller. The navigation controller is the app delegate.h file. This is the data model. So we're going to add the two properties for the UI navigation controller and the main view controller, as shown in the next slide. So we're going to add these two properties, and we're going to add it to uh, app delegate.h. Uh, so let's see, add these two properties. I'm going to copy them. Oops, edit, copy. And so let's go into uh, the Xcode project. And I'm going to click on uh, the app delegate.h. And I'm going to put them right here at the top. Well, let's just take a look here at what I'm pasting in. I think I'm going to do it separately. I'll put the import on the top. Add a copy. You know, with the other imports up here. So now I'm going to import the main view controller. And uh, let's take a look here. See what it's got here. Missing terminal character. Oh, here's the problem with cutting and pasting, by the way. See how that, see how this, a uh, copy and pasting, see how that kind of quotation mark looks kind of funny? It's not being read actually as a quotation mark. So if I change it, it fixes the problem. It goes away. There's a but sometimes when you paste to copy paste in there, you might get some special characters and stuff. This is a very old PowerPoint. Did you add this quote view? <coughs> oh, I open up app delegate.h. No, Excuse me? You, you added this quote view in the storyboard. No, I haven't done that. I'm not you in a storyboard a anymore. I added a view controller, main view controller. And scrolling? No, I didn't put that in there. I'm going to do it for another project later today. You can put a scroll view on there if you want. Scroll views are pretty easy. You just drag and drop and put it over there. It's just views are views. I just added a view for you, right? So they have image view, web view, scroll view, <laughs> table view. Just pick a view. They're all subclasses of view. You just drag them over and use them as views. They all have different properties associated with them. They all are inherited from view. Sure, I can. I, let me go and uh, show you my storyboard. But I'm not using my storyboard right now. I added a new XIB file that I'm going to use for this project. And right now, what I'm doing is I'm setting the app delegate to call this XIB file instead of the storyboard. No. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because I want to show you that you can. Yeah. I'm trying to show you how to you can configure the app delegate to load anything you want. So you can have multiple storyboards in here. You can have multiple views, and you just pick one that you want to load. In fact, you can change it programmatically and load multiple views depending upon how the user, does the user have your free version? Does the user have the paid for version? 
what features are turned on, you know, then you, the app delegate can decide what quality of, uh, you know, user you want. You know, is it going to be a free user? Is it going to be a paid for user? And then you offer different features, different views, different capabilities. So the app delegate's traffic copy is controlling everything. So let's go back into the app delegate.h. Told it about our new main view controller. So we, it knows about the main view controller now by the import. Now we have to add these two properties. The two properties that we're going to add, hello, edit copy. I'm going to stick right underneath the window. So it says, uh, this is where our properties go, by the way. So we have the UI window. And we're going to have two properties we're going to have in here. The two properties we're going to have are called the UI Navigation Controller because we're going to add some navigation bars to our view. We're going to put a bar on the top, bar on the bottom, our XIB file. And uh, so we're going to have to do that. We're also going to have a main view controller is going to be our root view controller. So we're going to tell the, and uh, what we're doing in this line here is we're telling the app delegate that this is our view controller. Our, excuse me, our main view controller is our root view controller for this app. Alright, so that was the .h file. In the app delegate.m, we're going to synthesize our properties. But we're not going to use this format because this format was a long, long time ago. Instead, I'm just going to write a synthesize and I'm going to go navigation controller, root view controller. Because remember, we got some properties, these two properties over here. If we flip over to the .m file, we'll find a synthesized line. Actually, we didn't synthesize the main view window because we're not really doing anything with it. And we don't necessarily have to synthesize it. But if we want the setters and the getters to set some buttons and get some actions that are on our navigation controller, we're going to want to synthesize it. So I'm going to just go ahead and put it in here. So we're going to at synthesize. And uh, what's this called? Main. Oops. Uh, root view controller. And now uh, what was the other one? Here, actually, I'll just cheat sheet it. Oops. Let's just go back to this one. It was a root view controller and nav controller. So root view controller and navigation controller. There we go. So now we added this line to synthesize the root view controller and the nav controller that we added with the property. Remember yesterday I was telling you that you can just go ahead and add your own properties. You don't have to drag them over from the XIV file or the storyboard. You can just create them yourself, which is what we did. And we're going to create them to signify these, this new functionality we're going to add. Now, in the old days, you could say equals and then rename it to put the underscore next to it. I don't like doing that. That's eh, kind of old. So I'm going to leave that out. So which means we're going to have to change the code because the code's going to have some underscores in it. No big deal. See how hard that's going to be. Uh, so let's see. Now we're going to change in the app delegate. We're going to change the did finish launching with options method. So just like each one of the views, the view did finish loading or did finish unloading or, you know, the life cycle of the view. We also have the life cycle of the app. The app did finish launching with options. The options are going to be launch this app with the option of using this main view controller and the main view. So it's the only method that we're going to be making any changes to leave the remaining methods in place. The app delegate is pretty empty right now, I'll tell you. But inside of this did finish launching with options menu, we have, uh, we have just a little bit of code here, and this is the last slide actually, and this slide is going to load our main, this slide is going to load our navigation controller. Uh, oh, this is toolbars, okay, good. I'm um, like thinking, uh, how can we get to the last slide of the tutorial already? <laughs> it's like, what tutorial was I working on? Uh, so here we have this. I'm going to actually just cut and paste, copy, and put this in here. Hello. Edit. Copy. This is the part I'm not quite sure is going to work, but we'll just take a look here and we'll see what happens. Um, so in the appdelegate.m file, we have an application. I'm going to leave this guy up here for a second so you can sort of see what I'm doing here. I'm going to paste this one in. This one is a replacement for this one, so I'm going to check the uh, check the line, and it looks pretty good to me. This just returns yes, so I'm going to get rid of it. What I did is I put in a replacement for the application method. The application method is triggered on the launch, and it takes the activity of the did finish launching with options, which is the method that's being run when the app first starts, 
and uh, the launch options and the launch options we're changing the launch options to load our new view that we put in there so I'm going to take away that old one and fix the uh, cut and paste typos here and see what I get out of here we don't need the zero from the slide that's for sure and uh, let's take a look here and clean this up a little bit as well what do we get well self.window UI window alloc Initialize with the frame. Well, which one are we going to do? We're going to do the UI screen main screen. So we're going to call our UI screen main screen. It's going to be bound to the screen parameters that we have set. And this is going to be a 3.5 or a 3.4.0 or whatever um, screen, a retina screen for the iPad that we made here. We're going to set the root controller property. That root controller is going to be our main view controller. We're going to alloc a main view controller. That's that main view controller that we had out there that we put into the pro project. And the main view controller, we're going to init, initialize it with a nib and the nib name nil. We're not going to give it a name, mid, nib, nib name, but we're going to call the root controller. We're going to set a root controller title to main view. So I'm going to put main view on the top of the screen there. And we're going to have the navigation bar. We're going to set the self navigation controller. is going to be a new navigation controller that we're going to stick out on the window. What I'm going to do is run this program for you when I get done editing the spaces here. I'm pulling the spaces out because I don't want this thing to crash on me from a warning message from a special character that's in there, which may not come up until I start to run it. Um, a long story short, um, the line returns and get in there. Okay, good. Um, long story short, we're programmatically adding a navigation controller to this view, and the navigation controller is going to have a. It's going to. We're going to have a title called Main View. If you don't know what navigation controller is, you're probably lost right now, but you're going to see it in a few minutes. Um, we're going to initialize the with the new view for the root view controller, which is the root view controller is that main view controller. That's this guy over here. And uh, well, we're going to set the UI color to white color. Well, we could set it to red color. This is the background color. So the window, the sub view. Um, what did I do here? Let me just make sure I can undo typing. Oh, is equals. There we go. I took it the equals out accidentally. Uh, so the sub view view of the navigation controller is going to be white. So the background color is going to be white, color white, and we're going to set the make make the key make it visible, make the window visible. So what I'm going to do is take this XIV file for us and change the background color. This is the main view XIV file that we're going to call the root view controller. So if I click on and go back to the attribute inspector and change the background color and make it my green color that I like so much. And if I run it, let's see what happens. Crash, bang, problem. No, actually it actually works. <laughs> you guys need to wake up. Maybe you need coffee. See how we got this little thing up here? This is main view up there. That's what we did. So this little screen in here, this little green screen that we added to it, it's an XIV file, it's not the storyboard. What this tutorial is trying to show you is how to use the app delegate to load up other views, not just, you know, when you create that single view application or you create that tab view application or whatever you're creating, you get the project set up. A lot of programmers are afraid to adjust that. They just bring in brand new problem. they go, oh, there's no template for that. It doesn't matter. Templates are to get you started get you thinking about, well, what kind of things do I want to do? Once you know what you're doing, you go into that app delegate and you change it to load whatever view you have, put whatever title you want in there to do whatever you want for navigation. This is actually a navigation bar on the top. So I can do something else with this, actually. I can add buttons to navigation bar programmatically. I can put a bottom bar on here programmatically. We don't have a bottom bar, so let me show you how to do it through the through the library now instead, object library. So if I type in here navigation, I get to see where it says navigation bar. That's the one we stuck up there. We did this programmatically. This guy is on our view already. It just has a title on there that we can add stuff to it. So we can add things to this navigation bar if we wanted to. We can put a navigation bar if we wanted to on the bottom. 
I'm actually going to put one on the bottom here. I'm going to take some and say bottom. Bottom navigation bar. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we have a navigation item. I'm going to stick a navigation item on her. I'm going to put this guy on here. Oops. Where did he go? Oh my god, he left me. There we go. We got the bar navigation item. Let's stick the navigation item on top of the bar. Actually, let's just get rid of the bar. So I got rid of the navigation item. Well, you, can, you can't stick a net. Well, I can put a navigation controller on there. Hold on, let's just do it this way. I had the navigation item on there. Navigation item goes on navigation bar, by the way. But let's uh, let's put something on the navigation item. Item here it is. And uh, let's see, back button. Mm. Well. They changed all this around. Root view controller. See, we did this programmatically, so I don't want to, you know, actually, we'll do it in a different project. I don't want to do it on this one because we actually already have it set for us. But if we put one on the bottom, here, I'm going to put it on the way bottom. Move it to the way bottom. Hello. Go to the way bottom. Oh, well, we'll just leave it right there. I'm just trying to drag it. <laughs> Not behaving. Let's take a look here. This one says title on it. Main view, title view. I don't think my button is going to show up here. I actually have to add a button to it in order for it to work. So we can add buttons to it. Do you ever see those things that have the navigation bar on there? The old style one was like blue and you can change the color of it. These are flat. They're not raised looking. And there's a slightly different iOS 7. But this is the navigation bar. Anyway, that's what I was trying to show you in this tutorial. So. Uh, but it just, uh, there's no navigation bar up here, but we did it programmatically. So if we take a look at the navigation bar controller over here in the .m file, we see that we've changed the background color. We can say red color as an example. And then we can create a button, add a button to it, um, change the behavior of it, make it go away, hide it, show it. Um, do all sorts of different things with it, and it happens uh, every time we run the program. And all, you know, the change would uh, reflex for us. So here's it. Oh, that one didn't do it. Huh. Okay, but anyway, you get the idea. I hope so. So I'm going to stop this this uh, recording because we're going to switch gears to the introspection tutorial. But this one was the one. Just in case you came in late, you missed it. This one is called. Oops, that's not the right directory. This one is in uh, <coughs> the source code examples, and this one was called tab something. There it is. Uh, toolbars, toolbar class. That's the toolbar class example. So it's a little bit more than just toolbar. The toolbar is what shows up on the top. It's more than just that. It's about navigation controllers and it's about adding XIV files. And it's about adding um, custom view controllers and changing the app delegate. So I will leave that subject for you and you can I highly recommend actually experimenting with that which is how you're going to learn it essentially. So.